Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you may be in the world. I would like to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with the Z. My name is Rita. Um, I'm doing another reading. Uh, I'm being guided to do different things right now. Uh, I'm not sure if you watched. I think I did it a few days ago. Somebody's been tapping into my energy. Well, they've been tapping into my energy. This is nothing new. But I've publicly addressed it. And after publicly addressing the issue, I went back to the divine to continue to petition for the release of my um energy that's been stolen and I've asked for it to be returned to me and I have been given a message but this may be happening to you all as well you know I might have spoken about that but I don't remember if I said it then um but let me pull out some cards um everything's been prayed over I've asked for protection this is for the collective. I'm asking the divine to give me a message for the collective. Adjudication, like I said in this message on the bottom. There's going to be a message, or you might have already gotten the message about some type of adjudication. Like I said, I went before the courts. Anything else you want to say about this? They're still concerned. This could be about... This could be the person that's concerned or this could be about you. Messages on the bottom again. Somebody wants a new beginning. Or this could be you releasing something from your childhood. Because you know you're supposed to be a wealthy person. Gift. mature man I think I'm going to pull two more cards can I have a message yes yeah, so I know I knew it the community this adjudication and this wealthy man is a gift has something to do with the community. They may have been benefiting off of your energy. Yeah. Somebody's in despair about this adjudication. Can I get a card, please? There we go. Somebody's working, and I don't know if they're working in the light or if they're working in the dark. It's this community, so it could be in the dark. Somebody is not happy about something. Yeah, they're doing some dark stuff somebody's ill if you've done like me and you've claimed your energy back because you went went before the spiritual courts not the actual courts and let me stop you know well let me let me say this um that 
I'm learning from other readers and the reader that has really been giving me the most that has made things clear for me is Solera Speaks. I'm going to try and um, attach her to this, you know, because I'm the information I'm using is, is what I've learned from her. Um, and there was another 303 High Priestess, but the main one. She, 303 High Priestess talks about reclaiming your energy, but it orig I originally heard it from Solera Speaks because I have the notes that I took from the reading. And she said to go before the highest courts, the highest courts to reclaim your energy back. And she talks about how they do it and everything. And that's what I did. And I kid you not, things have been changing. So, 13 is, is death also. The number 13 is death. So, there's some famous person high up. This person had been using your gifts. They had been working hard to get these gifts. And now they're in ill bad health. I just need one more card. And if you notice, they cards don't want to come out. They don't want to come out. It's affecting the community. They, it, they don't. It, the message does not want to come out. I just need one more. It's about a relationship too, a decision, lovers. And it has something to do with a sexual relationship. This person has been stealing somebody's sacred energy. And it's been helping the community. The card does not want to come out. There it is. They're trying to get, get a restart. They're trying to get a restart in your energy. But you have gone to spiritual court. And you filed your petition. What's underneath here? Yeah. I told you. This person is trying to come back in. You have gone to the highest courts. You have claimed. Reclaim. You petition to reclaim your energy. Because your gifts have been taken from you. People have been working on a restart to get your gifts. And it could be a lover. It could be a lover. I'm saying a lover because the man is here. But it could be your job. It could be. It was something. But it was done to take your sacred. It, it, it's affecting your sacral energy. Now, there is stuck energy here. And I only want one card. You're trying to move forward. You're moving forward and you're using your strength. That's the energy you're in. But they don't want you to be in that energy. I just want one card. Thank you. You are in between the emperor and the hierophant energy. And they are in the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords energy. And I'm going to read them both. The Emperor. When this card shows up in a reading... It will indicate a struggle between the two opposing concepts 
of rulership and religion. So somebody's using um, religion against you. That's what's holding you back. There's some type of religious. Let me keep reading. Both have an aspect of control involved and there will be an indication that there would need to be some type some kind of surrender to these surrounding forces in order to progress onwards here we see a battle of wills and a letting go of the ego which is the ultimate prize at stake so this this wealthy man or and i'm saying man because the man is here but it could be a corporation church whatever they're fighting you they're fighting you mentally and they want to regain entry they want a new start they're trying to work on getting a restart with you because you are reclaiming your gift and by reclaiming your gift you are taking control of your sacral um, energy your sacral chakra right now these people are in bad health and they're in imprisonment because they were stealing from you I can't make this shit up I didn't know none of these cards were underneath here they've been working hard they've been working hard hard on you with this and there's a there's a mature man in this involved in this and they're getting the messages that you are reclaiming reclaiming your sacred energy and they are in despair there's a main male underneath there i don't know what he has to do with that but we we i'm not going any further with that um, but just so you know, somebody, when you take back your energy, you will be able to reclaim this energy for you. Now, this Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords energy, let's move to that. I like this deck, but I don't always use it because... I wasn't using it in the correct way, but I've been told that I'm using it the right way now. Okay, so by you reclaiming, by you re going, by you petitioning the courts, the Knight of Swords is debating challenge. That's those people. And the Queen of Swords is experience and guidance. You're getting there's a transference of knowledge taking place that's going in your favor when you pull this in between stage you will be in a position where you need to teach others or transfer knowledge in some other way some way or other you may be a mentor or guide but maybe you are still learning to be a teacher and to give your wisdom graciously i'm claiming this I'm claiming this energy because this is what they told me this is exactly what they told me you are because I've been affected in this way you all if you if you've been on my channel you know that I I talk about being molested by a um, babysitter a male babysitter and I think that's how I've been contracted out in several ways but I've been reclaiming my energy back. Now, because I'm let's let's um I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna use this deck. Can I have a message on this? Can't make it up. Moan energy. Walk. Walking away from the hidden stuff. Can I have another card? Spirit. There it is. Seven of Wands. 
You're being protected. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. You're protected. And you're protected. Look at see if the number 28 means anything to you. And you're in the uh since I pulled it out, where is that? Where is it at? Um on the seraph, your uh, Kabbalah, the tree of life. You are in the seventh sephiroth. Let me pull that back. Because I have notes for that. Eternity. You're working on something in eternity. This is something that's been going on for a while. And for eternity. And you're 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 standing your ground on this that's been happening happening to you in an eternity, and is this is um, hidden intelligence things that have been been hidden from you, but you're going to be triumphant over it. It has something to do with money also because three of coins is here. People have been benefiting off of you financially. I have another message. My whole face is burning. It's on fire. King of Coins. And it came under under the Emperor and um, Hierophant. And it came under the gift. King of Coins. You are learning how to uh, reground yourself. Get the money up because it's under the gift. Can't make it up. Six of coins is on the bottom. You're balancing out your money. You're learning how to do this. You're being, you're learning. Whatever was taken from you, you're regaining the intelligence on how to do it. And this is because you are facing the divine face to face. You are, you are in your, in the tree of life. Kings are at the top. They're on the well. Malkuth is is at the the is aces, but you're in the second Sephiroth, which is the kings. Chakma, Chakma, wisdom. Make sure I say that right. Hold on. That's too funny. I put the thing down and then I lose the page. You are not. Getting the last word on this. Just stop. Um, sorry for the um, lull and the action, but I have my note. And I kid you not, I have the notes here from Solera Speaks. I took it on the 15th of May. But anyway, this talks about this. Somebody stealing things from you and contracting you out. Um, but that's not what I want. How did I have that page there and then it disappeared? That's interesting. I don't even care. You all. How did that happen? Anyway, we'll keep going. I'm not. Devil, you are not. Get on out of here. You, because you, I've noticed this. Whenever I get to where I am. The, the things are clicking. Things click for me. Something will come up and try to make me look foolish. Here I didn't know. That's something else. Like I said, I've been studying. I've been doing a lot of stuff. And they don't like it. Because I'm learning how to free myself. I'm, I'm linking up with the people 
who can teach me in the way that I can receive it. You know, because people can teach. I've gone to a lot of teachers and they've taught me a lot, you know, a lot of spiritual wisdom. But when you find the right individual, you get you get it the way that you're supposed to have it. And then things click and you don't have to worry about um The energy's tr trying to come in, and but because they know I have notes, they're trying to affect me. But anyway, that's okay. I'll come back to this because I had it on that page. That is too funny. And here it is, right here. Nah, nah. I just read where it was. This a little demon that did that. I, I I thought I cleansed my place, but apparently, apparently they I didn't cleanse it enough. Um, chakma is wisdom, yes. So right now, a lot of you are learning how to use the wisdom to reclaim your energies back, and by reclaiming your energies, you'll re get your gifts. Continue working. On your inner child. My channel is an inner child channel. The other channels that I listen to are not inner child channels, but they are channels that that give me the information that sh that allows me to understand what's been done to us. So I found my tribe, so to speak. I found my tribe, and I'm trying to come to my channel now and explain to you. How things have, what the things that have been done to you, why they've been done to you, who did it. Well, you know who did it, but then, you know, we, I've come to that. I'm understanding that now. Um, this can you're getting the wisdom of how it financially hindered you. And right now, because you are learning this information, your re emperors take control. They take charge. But hierophants have rules and regulations. It's like church. You know, thou shalt not, you know, you got to do this and this and this. And if you don't do this, that's that's what you're fighting right now. You're fighting this. But you're understanding that these energies are you they're using your energies against you to keep you from learning the wisdom of who you are. But you're balancing out. There's somewhere, some, your angels, your spirit guides, the divine, God, archangels, they're coming in to help you. Okay, here's another card. Nine of Wands. They don't want you to be protected. They don't want you to be protected. 45 is a nine ending a cycle. They don't want you ending this cycle. And then when it's upright, it says clear intelligence. They don't want you to have the clear intelligence on what was done to you. They want you to stay in seven of swords energy. They want you to stay in deceit. They want you to stay where they can trick you. Um, the way this number, and I have that written down, but I'm not, I'm not searching for that right now. Um, this is a, a, how do they call it? When they um do something and then they tell you they didn't do it. I can't remember it right now. But this is lying, cheating, stealing. Um, all of this. This energy has all of that in it. 28. Can I have one more? They want to give you this burden. Ten of Wands. On the earthly plane. Malkuth is earthly plane. Now, Chalkma is up in the spiritual realm. That's uh, as above. 
everything before it gets to Malkuth is as above. But this right here, they want you to have burdens. They want you to keep these burdens. They want you to keep these burdens on your life. You need to go, go to the spiritual court. You need to petition. You need to go and say what has been taken from you. Um, when I was, when I pulled that lover's card, I, I did hesitate when it was on the bottom. And I know for a lot of you, it's sexual. Because that happened to me. And there, you may be having issues. I'm not getting into that. But at the high priestess, you know. You know. You know what whatever it is that was done. Um, and you need to work through that. A lot of you have worked through it, but there were things still hanging on 1222 on my clock, on my, this phone right here. Um, you, you've been doing the work, but there are, they were still holding on. And it could have been because of religious teaching. You know, it could have been because of somebody, whoever, whoever the people are in your life that were trying to take control of you. It could be. I'll ask a question and I'll I'll clarify it if I need to. I'll ask one question. One, just one for each of these cards. What is this moon energy? Can't make it up. Love. They are blocking. This energy doesn't want you to have. You might get a cup, but you're not going to get the full cup. And if you're like me, you got the cup. You got the cup, but you don't have the full cup. Because somebody pours out the cup. And you're getting just the bottom of the cup. That's what's been happening. And this has been happening for a long time. This is Seven of Cups, past energy. And this is in your family lineage. And all those colors are your chakra system. So all of this has been, whatever's been done has been affecting your chakra systems. Seven of Wands. What is this with this seven of wands? Now they don't want to come up. They're watching. I'm pulling it. You're ending something. And they know it. They know you are ending something and you're transforming it. King of Coins. Can't make it up. Ten of Coins. Expecting your money. Whatever they... And there's, a, there's another card up. I'm going to take it. Star. Yo, yo, uh, the divine, your people's I call them my peoples. They've been they've been looking out for you. They've been waiting for you to get to this point in your life to actually do this. Cause it's been going on for a long time. Now, this reverse six of wands, they don't want you to be protected. I'm taking them because I see the Empress. 
they know you're the empress. They don't want you, they want you to be in this negative energy. How it was explained to me. We are emotional manifestors. If we stay in this six of cups energy, we stay in this energy, they get this energy. That's the best way. That's the best way that I could explain it to you. They get they get this energy, and by them getting that energy, they'll get that too. Somebody here has been doing stuff because they know it. They are invested, invested, and you stand in this energy. Because they know you are an empress. They know you are. Look at how strong that tree is. And look at, uh, oh, it didn't come up. Yeah, I showed it to you. The six of um, six of cups. You saw how little that tree was. That was you. That was you in this energy. Somebody is watching. They're watching, but you learning. This is this could be you saying, "Okay, I see what's going on now." I see that you've been, somebody's been using me, abusing me since I was a kid. And making me hold on to all these burdens that didn't belong to me. Can I have another card? Yeah. Fighting, interference. Every time you would think that you were moving ahead, this would happen. I know, I know I'm talking to somebody that knows what I'm saying. You're moving away from it. There's another card here. I'm going to take it. Yep. Daughter. It's a family. And this is somebody that... She in this energy. Um... This is some, this is a family. Cause the uh, we're not getting into that. Um, wow. I mean the whole the whole it's just hitting me like it is is just. It's unreal. Um, I don't have. I put the healing ones away. Um, now that you're understanding. The will of fortune is going to turn in your favor. It's taking a lot of strength for you to get here. You transferring you can have something for death you're creating with your own energy you're not using other people's energy to do this you're using your own seven of wands was out here already and you are protected there are cards sticking up i'm gonna take them by you manifesting you're taking control, the emperor. You're taking control of your life. Things will be coming forward to you. People will receive that judgment from that adjudication. And it's happening soon, quickly. Because you're protected. Star in it, the star... You are the Empress. I mean, well, you are the Empress, but you are the Queen of Pentacles. Your money, 
the money, whatever it was that was stolen from you, whatever was stolen from you on the earthly plane is going to be bestowed back to you. And it's going to allow you to be in this um, queen of pentacle energy. These cards are up again. I'm taking them. What is this? Queen of Cups. In e mm. And people, whoever did this to you, this is going to be done to them. They know it's coming. They know it's coming. High Priestess was up on, up before. Here's the High Priestess again for the Empress. This energy that you were in This is the energy they wanted you to focus. They wanted you to focus on these cups that were spilt. Because, like I said, you are an emotional manifester. If you focus on those three cups, they get that. That's what they want. <laughs> but you doing this. You celebrating. You are celebrating. And they are going to be in that energy. Can I have a last message? Look at that. They know. They know it's coming. And you know it too. Lovers again. Can't make this shit up. You need to, you need to go petition and reclaim your power back. You need to go do it. You need to go do it. The final, the final message. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. You can look at what you have. You have a lot. They took a lot from you. And you'll be victorious. You got gifts coming. Your passion will be back. On point. What they took from you. And there's the Queen of Pentacles again. You'll be able to. Manifest. Your own stuff. You will be able to have clarity about who you are. And she got but she got a butterfly at the top. So this is a beautiful transformation. This is a tr beautiful um, clarity, truth coming to you. She not cutting heads off. And she's knowledgeable about who she is now. And there's actually some color around her, too. This is coming to you. It's coming. You need to reclaim, go before the highest courts, the highest courts, and petition. Regain your emotions. By doing so, you will regain. Look. You <laughs> By you regaining your emotions, this is what they're going to do. They have to pour that cup out because it's not theirs. They got to. They wow. Wow. You're putting the end to things. You're putting you're putting the end to these things that were manipulating you. From your childhood, you can move past your childhood. 
you can move past this because you're healed. You will heal this energy from the past. It's on the bottom. This is the truth. If you do, if you petition like you're supposed to, go petition and you will get what is owed to you. I kid you not. You need to do it now. I want to thank you for stopping by Healing Inner Child Wound Conversations with a Z. Please take heed of this. Go ahead and do it. Because you got a lot coming to you. Your, your true identity is here. People been stealing from you. You take care. Peace.